Um, I just wanted to do a quick video sending my condolences out to James Bryan Hellwing, uh, aka the Ultimate Warrior. I found out yesterday actually that uh, you know he had passed away, and you know I can remember uh, being a little kid and I watched wrestling. I would say maybe from the early 90s all the way up until maybe 2000. I can remember you know Ultimate War being my very first favorite wrestler and then you know I went on to you know Stone Cold and The Rock and that whole WWF Attitude Era that was my generation that's when you know I was a die hard wrestling fan and over the years I I've heard about certain wrestlers dying you need from steroids or committing suicide you know a couple of years ago we had uh, Chris Benoit you know that had that uh, tragic you know incident in his mind where he decided to go off and kill his family and then we had the incident with Owen Hart and uh, Tess and then uh, a couple of years ago Big Boss Man which was another one of my favorite wrestlers uh, passed away but you know it, it, it just it's just another wake up call that you know you can easily be gone and I don't watch wrestling anymore but um, a lot of people are telling me that he recently got inducted to the WWF Hall of Fame and he was just on Raw the other night you know doing his whole thing talking uh, you know just doing his whole persona and then <laughs> the next day you know he's no longer here so it's just another wake up call you know letting you know that you really have to appreciate life and all that we deal with things you know as, as genders and as races and as you know just people in, in general you do have to sit back and, and take the time to laugh, take the time to appreciate those who are important in your life and those who have made an impact in your life. Do the best you can to um, make your life happy and, and try to bring some type of happiness to others while you are here on this earth. Because, you know, I remember an old quote that uh, Maya Angelou said. She said, no one will remember um, what you did or you know what you said but they will always remember how you made them feel and that quote always stuck with me you know and, and I try to live my life by it you know just uh, maybe people don't remember every single word I ever told them whether it was good or bad or maybe people don't always agree with me but maybe you know they, they can get some get the feeling that I genuinely care about people out here and I genuinely want to help people and that's just what I try to do I try to leave a, a positive feeling not just out here to YouTube, but just in my personal life. I try to help people out who are less fortunate and do what I can do while I'm here on this earth. But, you know, I just want to send my condolences out to uh, Ultimate Warriors family. Uh, and, you know, all the wrestling fans out there. I know a lot of people, especially around my age or a little bit older, you know, you feel some type of way about this. Because when these guys pass away, it's kind of like your childhood. Part of your childhood is dying, you know. And, and when you look up. You're, you're 26, you're 30, you're 35, you're, you're 40 or 45, and, you know, all you have is memories. So, you know, it's just important to, to cherish those special times in your life and cherish those who uh, brought some type of excitement or some type of happiness to you. Because, you know, people don't last forever, and, and, and you do have to make the best out of life. But I'm out. Rest in peace, Ultimate Warrior.